what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I just watched one of the most vile videos I've ever seen. It's a woman who is bragging about having her children taken away from her by CPS. She said she went live on purpose, knowing exactly what she was doing when she embarrassed herself, she said, because she knew that people would call CPS on her and they would take away her kids. And that's exactly what happened. She claims to have seven children. And she, she was like, yeah, I'm glad they took those little ugly such and such. She's like, F them ugly mother, uh, I'm glad they're gone. There were even people on her live as she's bragging about this, who asked her to help them get rid of their children. A couple of girls, she called them by name. She said, yeah, just hit me up. Just let me know. Call me. I'll, I'll tell you how to do it. You know, it was last night before I went to bed. And I just had one of those thoughts. I was like, man, this is a crazy world. And... I'm thinking about this because I thought about some of the events that had happened in the last week. It's just some of the most uh, evil and just low down, dirty acts perpetrated by people that are masquerading as human beings. And I'm saying, man, I don't know what's next, but I know I'm not ready for it. And I was not ready for this. I know that there are people that don't want their children, but to be so brazen and openly brazen about it, like public, to be so public about your disdain for your child that came out of you. And that's what she said, well, they came out of me and I got a right to get rid of them or keep them. And I chose to get rid of them. If she got seven kids, she got at least three or four baby daddies. I can't even see one dude. Yes, I can. It's some desperate dudes out there. It's some dudes out there that knew exactly what they was getting when they messed with her. And she was just a hit and run. Fellas, this is why you must be extra careful with who you choose to procreate with. Don't get too excited about just getting you some, because I know, you know, men like sex, but it's a whole lot come with that sex. It's a lot of responsibility that comes with it. And you gotta be man enough to handle it. I know some of you think you're man enough to handle the woman, but see, that's the problem. You're not supposed to handle a woman. You're supposed to caress a woman. You're supposed to love a woman. You're supposed to invest in a woman. You see, so a lot of cats got it wrong. They see the big butt. And that's one of the things she got up. She's trying to show off her figures. Uh, you know, trying to show everybody she, she work, what she's working with. And her whole life, it seemed like it was just just sitting around, just having a good time. She looked tired of her mind. It's sad, fam. And, you know, I should have said this in the beginning, but I'll say it now. For those of you who may be a little inclined to go in and start trying to say all black women, don't do yourself like that because you're going to sound like a fool. I know too many good black women out there to for them to be uh, modeled after this this chick, this thing. So don't do that to yourself. 
Uh, and we don't do that around here anyway. I don't even, I don't allow women to come on here and do that to men either. You know, everybody operates on their own merit. One person does not do something that determines the character of all. She stands on her own. And if anybody deserves any type of mistreatment, any type of disparaging words, it's her and her alone. I don't know what those dudes who gave her those babies were like. I'm assuming at least half of them were rotten. They had to be to choose her. Birds of feather flock together. Misery loves company. And I'm sure she had plenty of it. As I was watching the video, I couldn't help but think about how troubled the men in her life are. But I also thought about the women in her life, those who consider her to be a friend. What kind of person would have a friend like that? It says a lot about them. I don't know who you are, but whoever you are, to be so bold to get on a video and go live and disparage your children and call them everything but a child of God. You need to know this. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?